Romanovs, a Russian brand cigarette. The pack was empty. As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches, but I never could resist. The ashtray was full of cigarette butts. The filters were gold colored, very exotic. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Do you happen to know a good way to catch a cockroach? To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it? And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why's that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. You need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. Rich tea. Oh, what's that, a cookie? The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, and yet curiously Moorish. I'll give it a try. Glad to help. Do you know anything about Vera security over there? Not really. Why do you... Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. I've made a great home for a little critter. I went to take a closer look. Come here, little fella. I needed to set the trap down somewhere and wait for my friend to make his move. I set down my clever trap. Now, all I had to do was wait. Gotcha! You are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. I bet you are. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you know if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, chérie. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... The gloves. I, I just thought... Ah, easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I have been reconstructed. A number of times. From the ground up. The Vera phone. All expenses had been spared. Yes. There's been a theft at Le Lizard Bleu. A painting's been stolen. Shame. Still, I'm sure you'll get over it. I believe your company set up the security. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't. Did. I've got all day. But I didn't. It says here that Vera was hired to do the security at the gallery. Didn't do a very good job, did you? Where did you get that? At the gallery. That job was signed off. You can't say we were to blame. I was getting a bad feeling. The place looked like a front, and the only person there wasn't helping. Maybe the office itself could give me more information. Are you done? Only I want to listen to this next race. Thanks.
Look, do you mind not touching the office equipment? Annette's peripheral vision was, quite simply, astounding. Hello, we're a security, we make you secure. I wanted to see what secrets the book might contain. There was a photo. Of course, I grabbed it. Recognize this? Hey, that's my photo! That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What is he to you? Oh, my actor, that's what he is. My little actor. Yeah, I thought you said you had nothing to do with the gallery. Look, here's how it is. I've only been here a few weeks. I had nothing to do with that gallery job. I just delivered the paperwork. So, who's the manager before you? I don't know. She just, one day, didn't come in for work. I shouldn't be talking to you. The boss told me to keep my mouth shut. Yes? So, what happened on your date with Lane? I'm not sure I'd call it a date. Ah, uh, you can do better than that, Annette. Here, are you asking me out? Uh, no, no, I, I, I meant, tell me more. Oh, like that, is it? Want the details, do you? No, 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 uh, look, let's just, let's just move on, okay? Um... The boss. Have you got his number or address? No, I've forgotten it. I mean, I, I never knew it. Annette, a serious crime has been committed. You're in a lot of trouble. I had nothing to do with it. Look, I need this job. I need the money. Anyway, it's only a silly old painting. No one got hurt. The gallery owner was shot. Badly? Yeah, he's pretty dead. Oh. This is a murder investigation. Now, who's your boss? I don't know. Honest, he faxes me if he wants anything. He? Who's he? I've never seen him, never met him. Hmm. Don't make trouble for poor Annette. Thanks. I was pretty sure Annette had told me all she was going to. She sounded scared. Time to put the thumb screws on Lane, and I knew just how. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? That cookie did the trick. Right customer, right product. It's a winning combination. So what are you selling? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I sell all those things you can't get anywhere else in Paris. Like? English biscuits, Turkish delight, French cassettes, Brazilian Betamax videos. <laughs> Time to confront Lane.
The gallery was sealed off. The place looked empty. Lane wasn't exactly easy to miss, and it looked like he wasn't around. It was a beautiful stained glass window. Something about it looked vaguely familiar. Hi. Monsieur. I'm looking for Mr. Lane. Has he been here? Ah, oh, yes, monsieur. He came by earlier. Told me he was off to console Henri's widow. I hope she's out. Hi. Monsieur. The door was locked and sealed off with police tape. I needed to find Lane, and I was sure he wasn't in there. So Lane was consoling the widow. What a big heart that guy had. Did he have a grand scheme or just loose morals? Hello? This is George Stobart. May I come up? I'm sorry. This is a very inconvenient time. Come back later. I know that's you, Mr. Lane. I need to talk to you. Mr. Lane, does the name Annette mean anything to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. If you don't let me in, I'll tell the police about your interesting connection to the security company. Dear Lord, George, you have the worst timing. Is this a bad time to accuse you of lying? What do you want? I've just come from Vera's security. So? Tell me about Annette. Who? From Vera's security. I don't know any Annette. I'm surprised you let your conquests keep souvenirs. Oh. Where did you get that? Annette lent it to me. Quit waving it around, for God's sake. Can you tell me anything about the owner of Vera? Annette told me he's some angry-looking Russian chap. Come on, Lane. Tell me about Annette. All right, all right. I had a fling with her, okay? Now keep your voice down, please. And you two fixed the security for the robbery? No, nothing like that. Anyway, the, the fling was a mistake. She turned out to be rather needy. I believe you. You're not a criminal. Just a lecherous old man. Less of the old, if you don't... ...don't mind. As it happens, I make a lot of women happy. Especially when you leave them. Okay, Lane, take off. You can't tell me what to do. You want me to show Bijou this picture? 
All right, all right, I'm going. You haven't heard the last of me, Stobart. Promise? And give me that photo! If Lane was telling the truth, that meant that Annette was lying. She said she'd never met the owner and was very keen to get rid of me. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that back office. Are you going to introduce yourself properly? Pleased to make your acquaintance, madame. My name's George Stobart. Call me Vigil. <laughs> 